Hey Leo, welcome to your general love reading for mid-April 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Leo. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. That is okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. I am also offering cord cutting sessions. I have those at a discounted price for a limited time. Feel free to email me. Um, if you would like more information about that. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on for you. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Also, don't mind Mannix. I know it's like, it looks kind of funny. And <laughs> the camera, just his head <laughs> is on here. Um, but yeah, he wants to be a part of Leo's reading. And he hasn't made an appearance in a while, so that must mean something. All right, so let's see. Leo, first card out, we have the Four of Swords crossed by the Seven of Wands. Okay, so there's, I feel like there's healing, basically, um, that is happening here, either for you or for another person, or maybe it just feels like things are, okay, well, there goes Mannix, bye. <laughs> All right, um, maybe there has been a break. Um, in the connection or maybe it just feels like you know um, things just are not moving things are very passive but at the same time I do feel like there is a lot of a lot of healing that is happening um, in this connection and I do get that it's for the both of you um, there's some issue here concerning setting boundaries possibly or releasing defenses but we'll see more about that when we clarify let me see the energy for you we have the nine of wands the page of cups and the five of wands all right we are getting a lot of wands all right which is your element of course mm. all right leo i feel like there might be a little bit of a resistance that's what this is about um so it's like you're healing, but it's almost like there's, how do I say this? It's, it's like being afraid of the healing. And so that's what, I feel like that's what this Seven of Wands is actually. It's like almost, I'm not going to say that you're blocking your healing, but it's almost like not really wanting to heal because afraid of what that might mean. Um, and so for that reason, I feel like you have, you're conflicted because you can feel this healing happening. You feel it coming on, but because you still possibly have emotions for this person with the page of cups, so there's still, you know, feelings here. There's still things that you would want to express emotionally. It's almost like it's worrying you that you feel this healing happening. Really strange energy. Um, let's see for them. We have the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so a person that you're dealing with here, um, they're, they're taking some kind of a risk here. They're, they're beginning to start on some kind of a new kind of a path, especially in terms of commitment and stability. But what I see here is with this Ace of Wands, it's like a passion coming back or wanting to bring back something from the past, possibly with you. We'll see when we clarify it, but let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Page of Wands. Yeah, okay, so there's this curiosity, this um, motivation for a new path here. So let's see, let's clarify. Leo, Leo, Leo. Four of Swords with the Seven of Wands. Let's see, what is this about? Four of Swords with the Seven of Wands. The lovers, that's funny because Aries got that as their very first clarifier for the situation as well. Um, so lovers, which is Gemini energy, um, but some of you definitely might be dealing with an Aries or just with any other um, fire sign, doesn't have to be, it's just I'm getting a lot of fire as well in this reading. Um, the Magician, more Aries energy, and the world, wow, three major arcana cards here. 
Okay, so yes, there's a love connection that is very, very strong here. Um, there's healing that's happening again. And it's like you're manifesting this healing, right? You and the other person, you're both manifesting healing here. It's like there is something that is being closed out. There's a cycle that is being closed out that you are healing. You need something that needed to be healed. It's like finally happening, but there's a little bit of a of a blockage like no 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 do I really want this healing because what would that mean? And so, you know, any like slowed progress in this healing it's just it's literally just your own your own fear now again i mean this could just be the other person but just by judging by the cards that you have out i feel like it's it's mostly you um so but yeah feel free to switch the roles or take it as it resonates it's happening whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's happening whether you want to block it or not. It's happening. I feel like if anything, you know, you might just be slowing the process, but it's going to happen. So just, you know, the message here is to, you know, just let your guard down. Allow this healing to take place. There's nothing to fear. It doesn't mean that it is going to cancel out the connection with this person or any, you know, potential outcome with this person, if that's what you are afraid of. Um, and it might not even be that that you're afraid of. It might be something else that you know, it's causing you to kind of block out or, you know, be a little resistant to this healing. It could just be, you know, not, not wanting to let this go, but, but it's happening and it's, it's going to be good and it's not going to affect you in any negative way. If anything, the opposite. All right. So let's see the nine of wands for your energy. And we have the chariot. Okay. So that's cancer energy and the six of cups. Okay, so for some of you, it might feel like, it feels like it's unknown, um, the direction that you're heading in. It's like this healing feels foreign or it feels new and it just makes you feel like you don't know where where you're going after that or what this might lead to. It It's almost like, you know, the fear of something just being new, basically. And again, you know, there's a little bit of resistance to that, a resistance of taking this path because you feel such a deep soul connection with this person. And it's definitely been a very long journey for you, right? I mean, the Nine of Wands also represents the Wounded Warrior. So this has definitely been very taxing on you. But I feel like, you know, it's like your soul is, is moving you finally in a more healing space. And sometimes it's even like habit, you know, um, that keeps us stuck in a certain way of being or a certain way of thinking. And I feel like that's really what it is here. And it's also because, you know, you miss this person. So it's like healing from that can feel a little intimidating sometimes. Let's see the Page of Cups. The Six of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo is also showing up here. Definitely let me know what sign you're dealing with. You've done a lot of healing and you're moving towards a lot of healing again. Like it's just, it's just coming up again. There's a lot of soul searching here. Um, I feel like, you know, you feel like you've held these emotions into your own self, possibly like in a way where it feels also lonely to be holding in these emotions, not being able to express them. But again, what I'm getting here is that it's like you're moving away from that with the six of swords, like you're moving away from the pain. The pain is just getting less and less more bearable as you go along. So just allow that, allow that to happen, you know, allow that to take place in your life. Don't resist it. Let's see the five of wands. The king of cups and the eight of swords. Yeah, it's like you're trying to reach this emotional stability. Well, your your soul is, or or um, the universe is pushing you in that direction. Again, it it's like you still have love for this person. There's still something here, definitely on an emotional level. But what's conflicting you is your own thoughts. It's like just allowing yourself to be trapped in the past is what it feels like. Like in what how you used to feel. And it's difficult to break away from that even when healing does show up for us. 
So don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it because that's what's creating this conflict for you. It's like overanalyzing, you know, the love that is here with this person. That's okay. It doesn't mean that you can't heal. It doesn't mean that the love will go away. So let's see this person's energy. Let's see the fool. And we have temperance as well as the star. All right, Sagittarius and Aquarius. Lots of signs showing up here. Um, so I don't know exactly what this person is doing, but they're definitely doing something. There's a, there's a lot of, I just can't help it. It's healing. It's just showing up all over the place. And I know that's like so vague as to what it could mean, but I mean, it's literally both temperance and the star do talk about healing. The very first card out is the four of swords. It does talk about healing. All right. So this is somebody who is coming to some kind of a balance, trying to find a way to take some kind of a risk here, something that it is that they have been wishing for, something that they have been wanting. I feel like this person, you know, just has a big wish and I feel like this is their energy towards you, um, towards having something more stable with you with this 10 of pentacles. It's, it is taking a little bit of, of time. It is taking a little bit of time, but, and I feel like it's because they're feeling like this is a risk for them in some way or another. It's a risk, it is um, unknown. They don't know really, you know, what the outcome would be or, you know, what this would lead to. But it's like they're finding more and more peace with the idea of taking this risk. And it's like they're very optimistic about it as well. So really, really positive here already. Um, let's see the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like both Aries, <laughs> both Aries as well as Leo now, um, have been really, really positive. The Hanged Man and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so it is taking a little bit of time because this person is really taking a step back to really think about um, commitment or some kind of a stability. So maybe for some of them, they're involved in a particular commitment here, which might be separate from from you, okay? May not be the case for all of you, but for some of you, I feel like, like it definitely is. And so they're taking a step back in order to really consider um, something in terms of this of this commitment. And I feel like they're just holding back at the moment, just overall. They're thinking a lot in terms of their stability and what would um, make sense on a practical level and how they can actually bring that into the equation. Just to make sure that there is this stability, whether it be financial, on a practical level, um, just overall, just thinking of the long-term stability here. Well, let's see the Ace of Wands. The Ten of Wands and the Sun. Okay, so there you are, showing up here. Um, yeah, so this person is definitely wanting to release some of the past burdens that have been carried on your connection, on the connection with you, and wanting to bring back right this connection with you. Again, I feel like, I mean, with both the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands showing up in this reading, um, this is going to be the re a reading for those of you where this ha has been something, a connection that has been going on for a while. All right, I don't feel like it's a new connection. Could be for some of you, but I feel like for the most part, it's going to be for those of you where you've been going through something with this person for a pretty long time. And now it's like this person is wanting to release whatever burdens have been carried all of this time. I'm wanting to have that happiness with you, wanting to bring that back with the Ace of Wands. All right, so let's see the Page of Wands for the potential outcome. Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so yeah, there's that heartbreak. 
um, which I feel is being is being healed here. It's like moving in a new direction from that. Yes, there might be some heartbreak. Um, I feel like mostly maybe for the other person, especially if they are involved in another commitment. So there might be some kind of a break there. Um, but I definitely see a lot of confidence in looking in a new direction away from this pain, right? Taking action and moving towards truth, whatever that is, moving towards a new path that is going to be more authentic. And I feel like that's actually the case for you as well. Um, but mostly, mostly for this person, I feel like this person is moving towards, towards a new path here. And you too, it's like you're feeling more, more and more confident on this new situation here, right? Where you're finding yourself having healed and having recovered from this pain, really conquering that heartbreak and moving towards a new path. Now that new path doesn't necessarily exclude this person, but it's not like before. Yeah, and I feel like there are... Quite a few similarities with the Aries reading. All right, Leo, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have solitude. In silence, peace prevails. Yeah, and I do feel like, you know, maybe things have been quiet for quite some time now, right? As I said in the beginning with that Four of Swords. But know that this solitude is serving a purpose. It's serving a purpose. There's a reason for that. And it is bringing about peace and it is bringing about healing. All right, Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.